Welcome back to the Software Development Lifecycle course. In this lecture, we are going to write our JUnit test for the consumer adapter. Go open to Eclipse, and we're going to go to our previous test. And we're just going to right click and create a JUnit test case. And we will call it consumer adapter test. And our class under test will be consumer adapter. And we click next. And there's just one method we'll be testing and finish. Okay, now what we need is we're going to simulate as if we are going to be bringing in a queue and actually data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a test data file I have. And this file is attached to this lecture. And I'm going to copy the bottom one since it has backslashes or escape characters for our double quotes. And I'm going to create a class variable called JSON. And then uh, we're going to instantiate our consumer adapter class. And then we'll call our consumer adapter Centimago and pass in our JSON. And then our test will be the JSON is not null. And of course we have to throw our unknown 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 host exception. There we go. Okay, now we're not using easy mock and we're not mocking a queue we're not mocking our database and actually what we're writing is JUnit integration test and that means we're actually integrating into the interfaces and touching all our interfaces and our back-end database which is perfectly okay most developer environments either you have a dev environment or what's called a sandbox and so they put a database in for your sandbox and you can enter in any kind of junk data and they'll clear it out over the weekend using a batch file or, or you know a cron job so don't worry about it this is just an integration test and so this is a great way for us to actually physically see the entry into the database so let's go ahead and we'll right click and run as a JUnit test And there's some login statements, which is good to see. And our JUnit test was successful, which is good to see. And let's go to Mongo View and open up our database. Okay, it created our vendor DB and then our collections. It created our contact collection with a one count, which should be our test. And there is our vendor. So it's a Microsoft test with Bob test, Smith test, main test, Tulsa test, Oklahoma test, on and on. So it was a successful test. We have written 
to j to MongoDB. And here's our JSON. It looks just like the JSON we put in our test, which it should. So that's awesome. Our JUnit test is done for the adapter. And now we need to finish up our JUnit test and other things. So on to the next lecture.